almost the final quarter of the season and a game in Philadelphia against the 9-3 and three Eagles. You better have some good teams. And, and, and what a way to there. kick this thing off. Four, Four games left, left, and you start with the Eagles in Philadelphia, 9-3, and three, and then you've got the 49ers coming in here uh, uh, next week. Then you've got the rematch with the Cardinals in Arizona, and then the now annual regular season finale against the Rams. This thing's setting up great. Uh, but as far as this game, the first key, we're going back to basics here. It's tackle. Uh, against these guys, it's going to be imperative. Um, whether it's the elusive uh, LaShawn McCoy running the ball or the shifty Darren Sproles as a runner, receiver, or punt returner, or even the deceptively fast Jeremy Macklin in the passing game, when these guys get their hands on the ball, you got to swarm to the ball and get them down. It's, it's going to be a tough task, but the way this defense has played the last couple of weeks, you got to think they're up to it. So swarm to the ball gang top tackle and stop these productive players before they can get going uh number two this is a we uh, kind of heard this a lot about this lately let's score some touchdowns in the red zone uh they had one touchdown and five trips inside the 49ers uh 20 yard line on thanksgiving night one td and five trips against the arizona cardinals and two TDs and five trips in the loss to, to uh, Kansas City against the Chiefs. Um, they, they, you just got to do better. I mean, Stephen House is getting fat off of this with eight field goals in the last two games. But especially against a team that can score as much as Philadelphia does, when they get down there, they got to find a way to punch it in. Uh, and the third key, and this you've been hearing me say this all season, feed the beast. Marshawn Lynch is on a roll. He's got 300-yard rushing performances in the past four games. The only time he didn't break 100, he only got 15 carries. All the rest of them, he had 20 or more carries. So get him the ball because when Marshawn's on it and running the ball the way he can, it just makes things better for this entire offense and this entire team. And it's going to take that kind of effort to get out of Philadelphia with a victory. Mark Sanchez against his old coach, Pete Carroll. By the way, kickoff is later Sunday, 125 here in Seattle, 425 start back at uh, Lincoln Field in Philly. For Claire Farnsworth, I'm Tony Ventrella on Seahawks.com.